Hello everyone, welcome to the course on basic electronics. So we will discuss about module 1, semiconductor diode and its applications. In this session we will discuss about Zener diodes, the junction breakdown, circuit symbol and package characteristics and parameters, sequent circuit, Zener diode, voltage regulator. Zener diodes, uh, junction breakdown. So when a junction diode is reverse biased, there is normally only a very small reverse saturation current, that is IS on the reverse characteristics. So when the reverse voltage is sufficiently increased, the junction breaks down and a large reverse current flows. If the reverse current is limited by means of a suitable series connected resistor, the power dissipation in the diode can be kept to a level that will not destroy the device. In this case, the diode may be operated continuously in reverse breakdown. The reverse current returns to its normal level when the voltage is reduced below the reverse breakdown level. Diodes designed for operation in reverse breakdown are found to have a breakdown voltage that remains extremely stable over a wide range of current levels. This property gives the breakdown diode many useful applications. As voltage reference source, there are two mechanisms that cause breakdown in a reverse biased PN junction with a very narrow depletion region. The electric field strength produced by a reverse bias voltage that can be very high. The high intensity electric field causes electrons to break away from their uh, atoms, thus converting the depletion region from an insulating Uh, from an insulating material into a conductor. So this is ionization by electric field which is also called as Zener breakdown and it usually occurs with reverse bias voltage less than 5 volts. In case where the depletion region is too wide for Zener breakdown, the electrons in the reverse saturation current can be given sufficient energy to cause other electrons to break free when they strike atoms within the depletion region. This is termed ionization by collision. The electrons released in this way collide with other atoms to produce more free electrons in an avalanche effect. Avalanche breakdown is normally produced by reverse, reverse voltage uh, levels uh, above 5 volts. Although Zener and Avalanche are two different types of uh, breakdown, the name Zener diode is commonly applied to all breakdown diodes. So coming to the circuit symbol and uh, the packages. So here we have uh, the Zener diode. Uh, like to understand the characteristics and the parameters. So coming to the characteristics and the parameters. The typical characteristics of a Zener diode is shown here. Like uh, its forward characteristics is simply uh, that of an ordinary forward biased 
like ordinary forward biased uh, diode some important points on the reverse characteristics are zener breakdown voltage which is noted as vz izd is the test current for measuring vz izk is the reverse current near the knee of the characteristic the minimum reverse current to sustain breakdown maximum zener current is izm that is limited by the maximum power dissipation so the dynamic impedance is another important parameter that uh, may be derived from the characteristics so uh, dynamic uh, impedance defines how vz changes with variations in diode reverse current when measured at izt the dynamic impedance is designed uh, the dynamic impedance measured at the knee of the characteristic zzk is substantially larger than the zt the zener diode may be operated at any current level uh, between izk and izm for greatest voltage stability the diode is normally operated at the test current many low power zener diodes have a test current specified as 20 milliamperes however some devices have lower test currents so the data sheet also lists the dynamic impedance reverse leakage current which is the reverse current before breakdown and the temperature coefficient alpha z for the vz of each device the zener voltage at uh, any temperature can be calculated as vz2 is equal to vz1 at t1 plus delta t alpha z vz by 100 so temperature compensated zener diodes are also available with extremely low temperature coefficients low power zener diodes are generally limited to a maximum power dissipation of 400 milliwatts higher power devices are available all of the power dissipations must be derated with temperature increase exactly um, as explained in the previous section um, in the previous sessions like when the maximum zener current is not listed on the device data sheet it may be calculated from the power dissipation equation pd is equal to vz izm so here we have uh, it's the zener diode the different uh, types of zener diode its symbol so this diagram shows the structure of a zener diode one is diffused structure of a zener diode which is consisting of n substrate and p substrate n substrate is connected to cathode terminal and p substrate is an extension of uh, anode uh, metallic layers and uh, the other one is alloy diffused structure of a zener diode uh, which is uh, which is consisting of p as well as n type substrate there is a metallic layer anode silicon dioxide layer zener diode voltage regulators the regulator circuit with no load the regulator circuit with uh, no load okay so the most important application of zener diodes in is in dc voltage regulator circuit and these can be the simple regulator circuit uh, or the more complex regulators so the circuit in this figure is usually employed as a voltage reference source that supplies only a very low current to the output the resistor r1 um, in this figure it limits uh, the zener diode current uh, like rs it it's a limiting resistor it limits the zener diode current to the desired uh, level the is given as uh, vs minus vz by rs 
the zener current may be just greater than the diode knee current however for the most stable reference voltage iz should be selected as izt uh, izt and coming with the loaded regulator when a zener diode regulator has to supply a load current il the total supply current flowing the total supply current that is flowing through resistor r1 is the sum of il and iz here care must be taken to ensure that the minimum zener diode current is large enough to keep the diode in reverse breakdown so iz minimum is equal to 5 milliamps for a zener diode with an izt of 20 milliamps the circuit current equation is iz plus il is equal to es minus vz by r1 and the is minimum is given as vs minimum minus vz by rs max rs max is equal to vs minimum minus vz by is minimum so iz is equal to is minus il iz minimum is equal to is minimum minus il max rs max is equal to vs minimum minus vz by il max so in some cases the load current in type of the circuit uh, may be reduced to zero because the voltage drop across r1 remains constant the supply current remains constant all of this current flows through the zener diode when rl is disconnected circuit design must ensure that the total current does not exceed the maximum zener diode current example demonstrates the design process for a loaded voltage reference source that uses a low power zener diode it should be noted that high power zener diodes are available for higher current applications and advantages of the zener diode voltage regulators over other voltage regulators are that they are smaller lighter more rugged and have a longer life they are also simpler and inherently cheaper so such regulators have the following drawbacks like uh, their efficiency is low for heavy load currents because there is a considerable power loss in series resistor rs uh, and the diode the output voltage varies slightly due to zener impedance rz the output voltage cannot be chosen independently but depends upon the breakdown voltage of the zener diode and uh, some of the points like uh, uh, there are few differences between uh, zener diode and uh, the normal diode so uh, some of the differences between zener uh, diode The differences between the PN junction diode and the zener diode are this kind. Like uh, one thing is definition. So coming to the definition, a two-terminal semiconductor uh, device formed by joining a P-type semiconductor with an N-type semiconductor by alloying is known as PN junction diode. Zener diode is Zener diode is a special type of uh, two terminal semiconductor device which is optimized to work in breakdown region. And uh, coming to the doping level of P type and N type semiconductors, the level of doping of P type and N type semiconductors used for constructing PN junction diode is low. The highly doped P type and N type semiconductors are used for making Zener diode. And coming uh, um, to the width of depletion layer in pn junction diode as the pn junction diode has low doping level thus the width of its depletion layer is more 
and in xenodiodes the xenodiode is highly doped hence its depletion region is narrow effect of reverse current the height uh, the high reverse current can damage the pn junction diode the xenodiode does not get damaged by the reverse current and the breakdown voltage in case pn case of pn junction diode the breakdown voltage is high whereas in case of zener diode has a relatively lower breakdown voltage by asing condition the pn junction diode is designed to operate in forward bias only that is current flows from anode to cathode whereas zener diode is designed to operate in reverse biased conditions ohms law the pn junction obeys ohms law the zener diode does not obey ohms law manufacturing materials the pn junction diode is generally made by silicon and germanium made by silicon and germanium uh, silicon is extensively used the material used for making zener diode is selected according to the required voltage current flow the pn junction diode the current flows only in one direction in case of zener diode current can flow in both the directions and it's if uh, in its behavior in forward and reverse bias if uh, forward biased ideal pn junction diode acts as a closed switch while in the reverse bias acts as an open switch that is it do not conduct zener diode acts as a normal pn junction pn junction diode in the forward bias condition but it also conducts in uh, the reverse bias condition also uh, coming to the applications the pn junction diode extensively used in rectification clamping clipping etc the zener diode is mainly used as a voltage regulator or stabilizer in the electronic devices and circuits so the major difference between uh, a pn junction diode and a zener diode is that a pn junction diode allows the electric current to pass in only one direction that is forward direction while a zener diode allows the electric current to flow in both uh, uh, forward and reverse directions